President Muhammad Buhari to present the 2019 budget at a joint session of the National Assembly as lawmakers disagree over alleged comments linked to the Minister of Budget, Udo Udoma. And the National Security Advisor warns security agents to steer clear of politics ahead of the 2019 elections. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in the nation's capital, Abuja. Check out the countdown clock right here on Channels Television as we keep track of the latest that is coming on the 2019 crucial general elections. It is now 64 days to the crucial elections, and we are putting you right in the mood for you to be in the know of the major stories that concern you so that you can make informed decision ahead of the election. So let's tell you about some of the stories making the rounds. Ahead of the 2019 general elections, the coalition of uh, United Political Parties are raising an alarm over the planned opening of polling centers in Chad Repub and the Niger Republic by the Independent National Electoral Commission, addressing a news conference in Abuja. The spokesperson of the coalition, Ikenga Ogochinyere, says, the nation's electoral laws forbid the aspira of voting, and as such, any election conducted outside the shores of Nigeria in the name of accommodating internally displaced persons living in camps outside Nigeria is an invitation to crisis. The coalition is therefore urging the chairman of INEC to recall all electoral officers and materials already deployed outside the country. It was more worrisome that the report quoted the chairman of INEC as having made this declaration in a public forum. Following the report, the intelligence unit of the opposition has since uncovered the massive mobilization of citizens of Chad, Niger, and other residents in those neighboring countries, particularly from Sudan, preparative to their participation in the February 16 presidential elections. We have also uncovered that the plot is targeted at generating nothing less than 5 million votes for President Mohamed Buhari in the 2019 general election. Well, the umpire, the Independent National Electoral Commission, and it has come out to say there won't be diaspora or out-of-country voting in the coming 2019 general elections. The commission is saying that what the CUPP is saying is false and that the umpire will make special provisions for internally displaced persons outside of, the, of Nigeria to vote in 2019 is not a correct story. And it says only duly registered internally displaced persons within Nigeria will be allowed to vote. Let's keep you up to date with uh, some of the other political stories we are following for you on our political roundup. Ahead of the 2019 general elections, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has expressed concern over the increase in promotion of hate speech by politicians, religious and ethnic leaders across the country, which he says, if left unchecked, could negatively affect the 2019 elections. The minister raised the concern in an address he presented at the 47th meeting of the National Council on Information held in Kaduna State where he urges states to launch the campaign against hate speech and fake news. We use every available platform to highlight the dangers for fake news and hate speech. The Nigerian army has assured the residents of Kontagora local government, a crisis-prone area in Niger state, of a peaceful general elections in 2019. The commander of the Nigerian Army Corps of Artillery, Major General Abubakar Tafa, gave the assurance at the finals of a football competition organized in his honor. He also urges the officers to remain apolitical. 
and Governor Nasser El Rufai of Kaduna State has expressed confidence that himself and President Muhammad Buhari will be re-elected for a second term in office due to the numerous achievements recorded by the All Progressives Congress-led government in Kaduna State and across the country since its inception in 2015. The governor was speaking during the flag off of his re-election campaign at the Kaduna Township Stadium in the state capital. The stadium was filled to capacity with the enthusiastic crowd of APC supporters. We have done a lot, but we need to build on what we have started. And that is why we are asking the people for, of Kaduna State for another four-year mandate.